Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Torchlight 2. I'm just getting back from playing another game, so I'm not quite up to the controls here just just yet. We're gonna explore around here a little bit. There's still one more quest in the Path of the Honored Dead. And then we'll move on to our next area. So this bitter sprite is actually what drops the golden key. Remember in our first episode, I mentioned that there was a mob that dropped the key. Maybe we aren't gonna get this quest. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll have to go and look for the golden chest then before we leave. Or maybe I'm just completely missing something. I thought I got every turn. I might not have. That's what you get for not being too thorough. Ah, there's the golden chest. Alright. So we're gonna kill the rest of these things, and we're gonna go on to the temple steps. Which will be part one of Act 2. And then we're on to the desert, and then the final act. They said there's four acts, but I've only... Maybe I just am too stupid to see how they... Divide it up. So we're heading to the temple steps. And my game may have crashed. There we go. Alright. That was a really long loading time. It might be having to do something with fraps. Which would be a shame. So we're going to activate this wayport, which will let us go all over the place. A lot of rats. These things are called the Storm Stormborn. Vaguely Icelandic's the Stromborn. Sorry. Stormborn, that would not be that be English, I suppose. So we're gonna find where these armored war beasts are coming from. We'll try I'll try to do the first quest in here. Again, I do explore everything. It is the best way. And this is really cool. I actually had, haven't seen this layout before. This is me. Is that I really like the aesthetics. Really just pretty. I suppose if you wanna. There are traps that they put out. We'll see if we can find a phase beast as well. For those who can't, they're probably better. I know I said I wouldn't. Wouldn't, um. Your pet. Spend too much time on that, but was there a lot better? All right, it is really important to keep your armor up to date, or you're just gonna get throunced. Like I said, I will will try my best not to. I don't know what that is. To do it on screen, but it. At some point, may be unavoidable. There are three quests out here. There's the main quest, our side quest, and there will be a graveyard quest. So after we go down to the crypts, which will get us another kind of mini boss. I don't remember seeing those in my first playthrough or my second playthrough, for that matter. I don't quite know what those are supposed to be. Your pet is back from town. So yeah, you can send your pet to the town to sell objects. We're gonna... But the cancer pets are the worst. And that's why they do a lot of damage. 
I don't really see the point of fishing. Uh, it does, oops, sorry, it does help your pet a little bit, but not a, not enough to be really viable. Glad who wants to replace a game with a pet. Almost had one as a pet growing up, but our parents wouldn't let my, my, I have a twin brother, he wouldn't let our, my twin brother and I get a ferret. Friend of mine's ex-girlfriend had one, and they were adorable. So depending on when it's posted, I'll be halfway through the cave. There's just a mess of stuff over there. Maybe close to this to the quest. Yep, the beast warren is where we want to be. And we'll probably do a little bit more exploring after that. I don't particularly. Oh, maybe we have to light all. Oh, here we are. Here's the quest I was talking about. There's four quests out here, actually. Damn, So we're actually going to go do that one instead, and that will be our first episode. Or our next episode, I suppose you can call it. First, oh. First we're going to take care of this. And Flesh Swallower. The names are all generated on a... On a random generator, I think, because sometimes they get Not completely luck. ridiculous. And we got a, a fame increase. Has grown. So we're now barely known instead of unrecognizable. Should probably level up health for a couple levels. So we're going to do Wand Chaos. Off. It's one of my favorite things. It, it really does just add a little bit of humor to it. This is a little higher level than what I am, but that's cool. I think we can do this in seven minutes. I keep Audacity down at the bottom so that I can see my time count. Otherwise, I will uh, lose sense of time and have to edit a whole lot. So you can see that little purple sprite on my screen, that was from my wand randomization. It also works on my fire blast, which is why we kept it. Or why we are going to level it. And I actually have another point to spend, so we will spend it. We'll quickly start not really having much to spend in the way of points, so... I know on my engineer I have... 20 unspent points, and that large meteor was also from the wrong one randomization. It really is one of my favorite moves. Just the hilarity of it is great. So you'll just be fighting along, and then you'll just have nukes everywhere. So they have two uh, hero mobs. It's like Earth Scratcher. I think he teleported to that might have been my fault. So we'll have one more. This is one of those and then this gore beast. Unleash on him. Not enough mana. So we got a little bit of f fame off of those two guys. And we're gonna check. So these are sockets. We can put them into items. You can see this little orange circle. So we're gonna do that. Oop, didn't mean to do. Uh, use a healing potion. We'll take this chest. And more mobs! Could have used that channel during the boss fight.
one eyed Willy should be coming up. I don't really know if you count that as a old school. Maybe it's a Goonies reference, but I forget what the Goonies called the pirate. I thought it was one eyed Willy. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. I suppose it dates me a little bit. May pull some friends in for the next episode. I have quite a few of my RL friends who got this during the Steam Summer Sale. I am playing this on Steam. That's the main distribution platform that I use. I don't actually own a TV, so you won't see a whole lot of console-specific games. I'm trying to rectify that. I really want to play Persona 4 for on the channel. Really want to play Xeno Gears. I actually have that for the PS1. Disgaea. I'm a big fan of the tactical RPG genre. Ta Final Fantasy Tactics was one of my favorite games. I think that is... Okay, that's not one I really just yet, but he's exploded, so we're gonna want to get him. We get. We will actually be getting this spell of being cast uh, soon. We got level 14 for the fire. And then we're gonna roll with pretty much that. I'm gonna put it in charge mastery. Like I said, I'm gonna put it a little bit more in health. We're good on the mana staff. And we're almost done here. I think I will end it here. This one is a pretty long dungeon. I don't. I'm. I don't know if I can promise that I will uh, cut it perfectly. At the end of each dungeon, especially the later dungeons, are incredibly long. Not enough money. I'm gonna have to buy some potions with the money that I accumulated. Really, really love their one randomization effect. One chaos. You saw it in action, or seeing it in action, causing the enemies to flee in terror. Don't worry if I miss a little bit of gold or items. I have plenty of... Oh, and here's one I'm really. He is a boss. So we're just gonna hammer him into oblivion. And then we're gonna end the episode, I think. He does spawn mobs to take us out. I'm gonna try not to die. There we go! Like I said, wand randomization really, really, really helps. Then I will get our loot, and I will end it. I set off a trap. Oh! I don't know if you can hear that, but he said I set off a trap. Alright guys, that is our One-Eyed Willy done. So, as always, thanks for watching.